keys are middle C is usually where a, the piano has its logo like it'll say Steinway or something like that and C is where the two black keys are just to the left of it D is in between the two middle black is in the middle of the two black keys E is that one F is right before the three black keys so on the piano the white keys are the alphabet so it's A B C D E F G A B C D E F G A B C D E F G so the black keys are half steps in between a full step unless there's nothing there and you can hear it so when you hit two full steps together it ain't too bad it's kinda like a it can create harmony in the right in the right situations but the black keys will be sharps or flats depending on how you're looking at it kinda like if you're looking at it going up it's a sharp so this would be F sharp or if you're looking at it from higher looking down this way G flat so F sharp and G flat are the same key and it works like that for everything so this would be A flat G sharp so a good starting point for a beginner in music or a beginner in piano is to memorize where the alphabet is on the piano keys it's at first it's a little tough yeah um, I remembered where D was because it's always in, where the two black keys are F is at the beginning of the three black keys E is at the top of it so there's some ways to a few tricks to remember stuff so this would be C sharp looking at it this way or D flat looking at it that way D sharp or E flat now there are situations where we would use this as like E sharp or F flat but when there's something between it this isn't gonna be you know a sharp or a flat it could be a double sharp or a double flat and that's uh, a special circumstance where we name things certain ways but in general these won't be sharps or flats on the piano these are what you would call naturals G natural A natural B natural C natural D natural and that's the key layout for piano so the reason it repeats is because everywhere it looks the same it is the same note just higher that C sharp kinda medium low that's C sharp in the middle as you can see they're the same note in the same position and they they sound the same the word for that is octave because oct is eight and it's the eighth step musically four five six seven eight so the same thing happens at anywhere that it looks the same so D is in the middle of the two black keys one two three four five six seven eight so the formula for each scale is you start on a root so everything in music is rooted root is one two three the formula is full step full step half step full step full step full step half step now every one of these notes you can do that formula with here's C full step full step half step full step full step full step half step and it's a full step because kinda of what I was saying before is there's something in between these two there's something in between these two that makes it a that makes it a, a full step now there's nothing in between these two that makes it a half step and you can hear it 
hear how close those are? The theory is, is that that's a half step is the smallest thing a human being can kind of differentiate. Well, trained in music, anybody that's been around music a long, long, long time and studying it can probably hear real fine changes in frequency and pitch. Some people can, some people can't. Um, but most people, it seems like you can tell a slight difference, even if it's a smaller than a half step. It's just kind of what we make music out of. We make music out of half steps. So anywhere you have a half step, you can just make a whole new scale out of that. Or, or a chromatic scale means everything. Now we don't really make music based out of a chromatic scale because of, so we tend to make melodies and the melodies follow this pattern. A half step um, after two full after two full steps and then three of them and then a half, then another half step at the end. Now that's what a scale basically is and we use that um, to make songs. We write songs with the scales. We read songs based out of which scale it's in because most songs just kind of follow that pattern. Um, whether it be a minor scale. Now minor scales are a little bit of a tweak to that. They half step sooner so it's one full step then a half step full step full step now the one that I use more in demonstrations is a half step there and then a one and a half step before the rounding off with the half step at the end and where it's So minor scales have two ways to demonstrate it, and um, that's a more complicated thing. This I just wanted to keep this a basic video, so that's the basic introduction to scales. Hope that helps.